Hi guys, welcome to the learning tunnel. Today we will practice solving addition and subtraction word problems and writing an equation or number sentence to go along with it. So grab some paper and a pencil or some objects you can use to help you count and let's get ready to crunch some numbers. Our goal for today says, I can solve addition and subtraction word problems with sums up to five. Before we begin, let me introduce you to two of my friends. This is Put Together Patty. She loves getting more things to add to her collections. Patty will help us today when we are adding. This is my friend Takeaway Tim. He loves to give things away to see how many are left. Tim will help us remember when we need to subtract. All right, here's our first problem. It says, Jaden has three toy cars. His mother bought him one more. How many cars does Jaden have now? First, I need to think about what the problem is asking me to do and figure out if I need to add or subtract the numbers. The problem said, Jaden started with three cars and then his mother gave him one more. This sounds like a problem for put together Patty because I need to add or combine the numbers. Here's my picture of the three cars Jaden started with plus one more that his mother gave him. I'll pause here to give you a moment to see if you can add up all the cars. When I add three plus one more, the total is four. I can write an equation using numbers and symbols to model the problem. Three plus one equals four. All right, now it's your turn, guys. Use your paper to draw a picture to show what's happening, or you can use your counters or even your fingers to model the problem. Sarah had five cookies. She gave two cookies to her friend. How many cookies are left? Hmm, are we putting numbers together and adding, like with Put Together Patty, or should we think about Takeaway Tim and find out how many are left over if we subtract the numbers? The problem said that Sarah started off with five cookies, but she gave two away to her friends. This sounds like a job for Takeaway Tim, which means I need to subtract. Now let's do this one together. I want you guys to draw five circles on your paper. One, two, three, four, five. Now cross out two of those circles. You can put the letter X on top of each one. One, two. How many circles are left over? How many circles do not have an X on top? Here's my picture that shows the five cookies Sarah started with and what happened when she gave two cookies away. I placed an X right on top of two cookies to represent that those are the two she gave away. If you said three cookies are left, then you are correct. Notice my equation on the bottom. I use numbers and a minus symbol to show that when you start with five and take away two, you have three left over. Here's our next problem. Ben has two blue balloons and two white balloons. How many balloons does he have all together? Okay guys, do you think this is a problem for put together Patty where we need to add the numbers all together? Or is this a problem for Takeaway Tim, where we need to subtract one number from the other? The problem said that Ben had two blue balloons and two white balloons. This sounds like a job for Put Together Patty, since we are combining the balloons. Okay guys, I want you to try to draw a picture to match what's happening in the problem. This will be a good time to pause the video so you can work out the problem. Okay friends, here's my picture to show what happens when you put two and two more together. 
You might have drawn a picture like mine. Some of you might have used counters to show what happened. And some of you might have even used your fingers. Okay, here's the answer. When you add two plus two more, you get four. Notice how my equation matches the word problem. Two plus two equals four. Here's our next problem. Felicity made four bracelets. She gave three of them away. How many bracelets does she have now? Okay guys, is this problem telling us to add or subtract? The problem said that Felicity made four bracelets, but she gave three of them away. Giving things away makes me think of Takeaway Tim, which reminds me to subtract. Okay guys, I want you to try to draw a picture to match what's happening in the problem. This will be a good time to pause the video so you can work out the problem. Here's my picture that shows the four bracelets Felicity started with and what happened when she gave three bracelets away. I'll pause to give you a moment to count out the answer. Okay, here's the answer. When you start with four and you take away three, you are left with one. Notice how my equation matches the word problem. Four minus three equals one. All right, guys. That's the end of our math word problems lesson for today. Stay tuned for the next video. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.